Hello again, Year 3 order, and welcome to our first maths lesson on YouTube. Um, as always, I'm going to start by sharing my screen um, so we can work through the lesson together. So again, please bear with me as I load it up now. Now, you can see from the date and learning intention on the screen there that we are going to be continuing our unit on multiplication and division. And we've done lots of times tables so far. We've looked at the twos, the fives, and the tens as a bit of a year to recap. We moved on to the threes and the fours, and now we're looking at the eights. And our last lesson in school was multiplying by eight. So today we're going to be dividing by eight. Now, as a bit of a starter activity, I want to see if you can remember what we did last time. Let me read out the questions to you. Perhaps you can have a go on a piece of paper at home. First one says, here is an array eight by two. And you can see on the screen, there are two groups of eight going across. Now the first question for your starter is to draw an eight by four array. So instead of doing two groups of eight, it's gonna be something different, but I'm not gonna tell you any more than that. Now, once you've drawn that array, you've got to work out how many counters and finally, you just need to write two multiplication equations to match your array. So blank times blank equals blank, or blank times blank equals blank. So there should be two different multiplication equations that you can write. If you want to have a bit of spare time, feel free to pause the video now before I go through the answers for those. Now let's go through them together. So we already had the eight by two array that was given for us. I had a go at doing an eight by four array, and now you can see there are four groups of eight going across. So one, two, three, four. Now you might be able to do eight times four in your head to get that answer. If you're not sure, you could count those individually, and four groups of eights will get you 32 counters in total. And lastly, for the two multiplication equations to match them, you could have eight times four equals 32, or you could have four times eight equals 32. Well, and I remember there's a law that goes with that, where it doesn't matter which way round we write those for multiplication or addition. I wonder if you remember the name of that law. Well done if you're thinking commutative law. That's the one we've talked about in class quite a few times now. Let's move on. So like I said, the last lesson we were multiplying by eight. Today we are going to be dividing by eight. Just as a recap, so we know what kind of words we might come across when we're dividing by eight. What other words do you know for divide? Maybe you can shout out a few to the YouTube video now. Um, or maybe you could write a few down. And again, if you want some time, feel free to pause the video now to jot those down. So some of the words that we might come across are share. So we can share into groups. Split, we can split different objects into groups. Or group, we can group different objects into a certain number in each group. And they're all different ways that we might be helping us to divide. So the first question I want us to think about together, and let me read it out to you. Here are 24 flowers. We can see the pictures of the flowers on the screen there. How could we divide the flowers by eight? I wonder how we would do that. So we've got 24 hour, 24 flowers. And we want to divide them by eight. Hmm. Maybe have a think to yourself about that one just now. If you want to, and you're feeling confident, maybe you could pause the video and have a go now too. Otherwise, we're gonna go through it together. So my first step would be to draw eight groups, because I know if we're dividing by eight, we're sharing between eight groups. So I've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight circles on my board. But I haven't shared them yet, that's my next step. So I've drawn my eight groups, I've got to share 24 between them. So you might want to have a go at doing this, and you could do one dot or one circle in each group, until you get to the end and go back to the start and count all the way up to 24 to see how many there will be in each group. Now I've had a go at doing that and I counted all the way up to 24 and to make it even there was three in each group. So 24 flowers shared between eight groups is three in each group. 24 divided by eight is equal to three. Well done if you managed to do that one independently. Um, we've got another one to look at together. This time it says 32 divided by eight equals question mark. We're not sure yet. Once again, I know we're dividing by eight, so I've drawn eight groups. Let's count them together just to get one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. There's my eight groups. Now I've got to divide 32 into eight groups. I'm going to try doing it in the same way that I did before. If you want to have a go at doing this independently, once again, you can pause the video. And I'm going to show you the way I will do it on the screen. I'm going to get my pen tool to tell me of this one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when I get to there, I go carry on from the first box, nine, 10, and so on. I'm not going to go all the way up to 32. I'm going to let you try to finish that one yourself. And again, if you need some spare time, feel free to pause the video now. And what you should get is something that looks a little bit like this. So 32 divided by eight, if I counted all the way up to 32 using that method I was just showing you, I would get four in each box. So 32 divided by eight is equal to four. And well done again, if you manage to do that one independently. Now, I'm gonna teach you another way to divide by eight. And if some of you are very quick mathematicians and you think, oh, I can do some of this in my head, this is a good method for you to start using. So we already learned that when we divide by four, we can half the number and then we can half it again. So we half it twice. Now, when we divide by eight, we can half the number three times. And to give you an example, um, if we have the number 16, we can halve it once to get to eight. We can halve it again to get to four. And I need to halve it one more time to get to two. So I've halved it once to get to eight, halved it again to get to four, and halved it one more time to get to two. So 16 divided by eight equals two. I wonder, do you think you could have a go at using that same method to work out how we divide each of these numbers by eight? I'd recommend pausing the video again there and having a quick go on a piece of paper in front of you. And I'll go through the answers in just a moment. We'll come back together there. What you should have had is 24 divided by eight. If I halve it once, I get to 12. If I halve it again, I get to six. If I halve it again, I get to three. So 24 divided by eight is equal to three. Next one, 40 divided by eight. I halve it once, I get to 20. I halve it again, I get to 10. And I halve it again and I get to five. So 40 divided by eight is equal to five. And the last one, 80 divided by eight, I halve it once to get to 40. I halve it again to get to 20. And I halve it again to get to 10. So 80 divided by eight is equal to 10. Now, we're gonna move on to a little maths challenge that hopefully you can have a go at at home. Now, I know you won't have the sheet that you can see on the board now to help you do it at home. So maybe you're just gonna have to be a bit creative with how you solve it on a piece of paper. Maybe you could just write the sentences down for each one or the number sentence or whatever it might be. The first question for the challenge, there are a certain number of flowers. And you can see them along the top. If I were you, I'd start by counting those flowers to work out how many there are. Then they're being split into eight vases. I can see my eight vases here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in fact, this one, you've got big helping hands. They've already shared the flowers into the vases for you. So you just need to fill in the sentences. There are blank flowers. There are blank vases. Each vase has blank flowers. So 16 shared into blank equal groups is blank. And like I said, maybe you can have a go at filling out those sentences, writing down those sentences and filling out those blanks. The next one looks a little bit different. This time we have 40 counters, and they're kind of drawn already in groups of eight, in a bit of an array. So we've got eight going across there, another eight, another eight, another eight, and one last eight. This one's nice and simple. You've just got to work out what 40 split into eight groups is. Now they're already kind of split into eight separate groups. I wonder if you can see how they've done that. To help you with that one a little bit, if I was going to split into eight equal groups, I would think, right, well, that's one group. There's another group. And if I keep going down my arrays and drawing the circles around them, there will be eight groups. And you can already work out how many there'd be in each group. Now, for the last one, we've got a bit of a bar model. We've got the number 24, which is our total at the top. And again, I've got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there's different methods we could use for this one. We could use um, the halving, halving and halving method. So halving it three times and work out what number it'd be. You might already know 24 divided by eight to the top of your head. And if you do brilliant, and you can write the number in each of my blocks of the bar model. And um, we could also use a similar method to the one we've done before, which I'm gonna show you quickly now. So we could draw dots in a bar model, a bit like we did in our groups. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once I get to the end, I go back to the start, nine, 10, and so on. And you'll have to go all the way up to 24, because 24 is our total to work out how many in each group. And then you can use that to help you fill out your number sentence below. So I'll give you the first number, it's going to be 24 divided by something. That number is going to be how many groups we've got. Think about how many groups we've got equals, hmm, you're going to have to work out that one. If you're thinking Mr. Foster, that seems very easy and you think you're going to fly through that, how many different ways can you show each question? So maybe you can draw it as a picture, draw it as an array, write it as a number sentence, use a um, grid to show it in, um, use a bar model like the ones we can see, or any other methods that perhaps you can think of. And if you want a challenge X, an extension challenge, there is one here for you as well. So I call the numbers that divide exactly by eight. Just think about the numbers which are in the eight times table. That's gonna help you. And if you can explain your working out on that one even better. Um, if you want to pause the video there, so you've got some time to finish those challenges or get started with those challenges, feel free to do so, because in a moment, I'm gonna go through those answers. Right, we'll come back together there and we'll go through those answers so you can have a go at marking your own learning for this one. There were 16 flowers in total. There were eight vases. And when we shared them equally, there were two flowers in each vase. So 16 shared into eight equal groups is two. This one I already started to show how we could draw the groups around the array to make it eight equal groups. And if I again show you one of those groups, I won't draw all eight. We can see there's one, two, three, four, five in each group. So 40 divided by eight is equal to five. The last one, you might have used different ways to work this one out, but the number you should have got for each box in the bar model is three. And the number sentence that goes with it is 24 divided by eight is equal to three. Well done if you got those. If you didn't get them, much like we do at school, maybe have another go at doing those questions. It doesn't matter if we get them wrong. We can try, we can persevere and be resilient, and that's going to help us with our learning at home as well as it does at school. Now, if you got into challenge X, the numbers that divide by eight exactly, hmm, for that, it might help you to write down the eight times table. So in my head, I'm thinking, right, zero, eight, 16, 24, 32, and so on. Now, I've already said some of those numbers. I said the number 32, because I know four times eight makes 32, so that has to divide by eight exactly. I know 64 is another one as well, because eight times eight is 64. So 64 divided by eight must give you eight in each group. And they are the only two from there. Um, maybe you could explain how you work that one out too. And if you have done that, perhaps you can send that in to um, the email address and I can have a look at that one myself, because I'd love to read some of your explanations. And just like the learning from any other subject, if you want to send that in to me, to the email account, you can do the same there too. Um, thank you for listening for our first math session year three order. Uh, I look forward to seeing you um, for some more of them over the coming days. Thanks, see you next time.